I can't believe it. Here I am sitting down acting like I know what I'm doing and the freaking camera is not even put up. <laughs> I got gotcha. you good, didn't I, Lenine? How low can you go? Oh my gosh, Well, don't be too short. That's creepy. So what do you think about this monsoon that we've had, Lenine? We had two inches of rain last night. That's a lot of rain. It is. Did you get your sippy We're high, cup? though. Did you get your sippy cup? I have my cup, but I don't have my sippy cup today because I was running late this morning. I was working on my whips. So I'm in here. Trying to get it. it. Why did you put all your wool back on? Cover up my bad hair, dude. Uh oh. Well, I'm going to have to cut it off. And... Okay, we're live, Lenine. <laughs> oh, are we? Oh, yep. oh shoot. Hi, everybody. Hi, Peter. Frost, too. Yep, it's Peter and Lenine. I'm back. I'm back. And they're so excited. Huh, Peter? Very. Yeah. Okay. So what are we going to talk about You're today? You're organized. I don't have my list. I, I know, had a I'm, list. I'm very... I had a list and I didn't bring it over here. Well, I can talk while you go get it. Well, before I forget, I just want to say I've been watching a floss tube. Okay. So, oh, we want to talk about floss tube first? Yeah. Look, look, look at my list. See, I even have the ones I, I've oh. been watching. That's a lot. I, I typed. I typed my floss tube. My, I should have had you my, type mine in there too. <laughs> <laughs> my floss tube list that I like to listen to, which I know I've missed people, but you know. So we have a longtime follower, Wendy Stitches, better known on floss tube as Wendy's Whimsical Stitches. Wendy's Whimsicals? Well, I put the H in there, like it's Wendy. Like Wendy. Wendy, yeah, yeah. I, I got it. I got it. Um, but she's a longtime follower. Yeah. I've been reading her comments for the last three years, or however long we've been doing this. You know, it's almost two years? Two years. Two years in May. Two years in May. She's been watching every episode, and I read all of her very thoughtful comments. Well, thanks, Wendy. Wendy. But Wendy's back in the game. She on, on Floss Tube again? Yes. Yes. Mr. Hollick. Did you see Mr. Hollick the other day? Yeah, I saw him in the store. No, he was on Floss Tube. No, I didn't oh, see him on Floss Tube. Mr. Hollick was on Floss Tube. I saw him in person. Or better known as Sean. So, and if you don't know what's different, because he asked you the very first thing on his floss tube, he goes, so if you guys notice, notice anything different, comment on the, and I was like, well, I couldn't get my thing to comment. I was going to comment, like harass him a little bit. Were you logged in? I don't know you about that. You have to that. be logged in. I don't, oh, do you? Comment, yeah. Okay, well, Sean, I meant to comment that your beard looks great, but it didn't. Okay, okay. back to Wendy. Anyway, back, it, to, back Wendy. to Wendy. Sorry. So Wendy does... <clears throat> She does an amazing job. She's very serious about her cross stitch. Everything she does is so beautiful and inspiring. And we have a lot of similar tastes. That's why I like watching her. But she's also like very calming and just pleasant to like listen us. to. Not like us. We're chaotic. We're all over the place. But she, I just really like watching her huh. channel. I'm excited when she has a floss tube. I get excited when I get a notification that she's a floss tube. And then after it's over, I get sad because it's all, it's it's over. all, it's all gone. Do you kind of wait... There's a couple of them when I see that they've posted a new floss tube. I kind of wait until I'm just in the right spot that I won't get interrupted. Yes. Yeah. Yes. See, I've got yes. a, I've got a couple um, that I do that. Yeah. Okay. So back to Wendy. Yeah. So um, there was something I was stitching, and she had posted um, a Nashville needlework exclusive from the pr previous year that was a bee, and the background had a ton of that back stitching. And I just made a comment, oh, you know, I love that. I love all that backstitching. And she goes, oh, well, the backstitching is nothing, you know. All it is is half a cross stitch. Kind of. Once you said that, Wendy, on that post, back on my reply, I thought, oh, it's half a, it's one leg. It's one leg of one a cross leg. stitch is what right. she said. It's right. half a stitch. Right. And I was like, well, I can do that. So <laughs> she put all kinds of wind in my, in my back stitch sail. Good. And I got all kinds of good back stitching done, all because of Wendy. Well, since you're kind of new to the cross stitch, you didn't cross stitch before, did you? No. Brand new. Back in the day, back in the 70s and 80s when some of us started cross stitching and it was dimension kits or even just the patterns themselves, there was a lot of back stitch. Everything I was I see everything stitch. was outlined. Yes, everything. Yeah, everything was outlined. Oh my goodness. And you just planned on having a day of just back stitch. So, but it's, yeah, it's kind of fun. Yeah, that was fun. Well, good. So did you backstitch anything on here? I did. did. You? He's yeah. got some sam or samples. He's got some whips, you guys. I'm so excited. I have a finish and a whip. That's so fun. Well, Wendy, 
Does she come in the shop? She's um, she orders from us. Oh, online. she orders. Yeah, she's one of our online supporters. Well, if you ever come in the shop for some reason, I'm not sure where you are, but if you ever come in the shop, um, say something. Ask Peter. If it, Peter's always here, unless it's Wednesday. So yeah, I'm not here um, Wednesday, Wendy. Come in, come in and talk to us. Okay, so we're talking about floss tubers. Yeah, what I've you got? got? Well, one of the first floss tubers I watched, and she was fairly new at the time too. I think she's been doing it a little over two years. Uh, Jessica from Sweetwater Stitcher. If you've not watched Jessica, it's great. So I'm going to go through these kind of fast, but um, if you need somebody new and you haven't listened to some of these people, they're great. And I know there's a bunch of floss tubers out there that are amazing, but these are the ones that um, I, I watch on a regular basis. Brenda and the Serial Starter, everybody watches Laura and Brenda. Mm -hmm. They had a new one a couple of days ago, and I started watching it at lunch. Of course, I was interrupted because I Ugh. had to come back to work, so Why I didn't, didn't get to watch stay? it all. I, well, you know, you, you, you know, I, I have half hour for lunch. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> anyway, uh, Chantel from One Forty One Design Company. She's fun to listen to. Nicole Spores also fun to listen to, and she's she's a finisher like crazy. She finishes, and she's got a, she's got great ideas for how to finish things. Uh, Bridget, the museum stitcher, she's cute. Have you ever watched her? Mm -hmm. She's a cutie. And I like it because she'll, she'll sometimes tell us what lipstick she's wearing. Like if, the, Oh, the, yeah. The, yeah she'll, you forgot to put yours on today. I don't wear lipstick. Oh. I've never worn My mom. My mom <laughs> always wore lipstick. You know, it's the red lipstick. And it, well, anyway, uh, Kia B, she's one of our uh, cross stitchers that come in. Yeah, she's got a good channel. Sherry from Colorado Cross Stitcher. Lauren, the New Hampshire stitcher. Yeah, she's been doing, she does the big stuff. She's very calm. Yeah, I watched her, I started watching her a year ago. Yeah, she's... Right she's, when she was getting in the scene. And I like Christy from Crosshatch Quilters, which she doesn't floss to, I don't think, very often. But boy, when she does, that's one of those that I, I have to stop everything. You know, Brett, don't bother me. I have to yeah. focus in. And I just found Bernadette from Burn Stitches. B-E-R-N like stitches. She's the cutest little thing. That sounds like I fun. think she's a fairly new... I've only watched one, and that was yesterday or maybe the day before, but um, she's very sweet. And I think she's new by the way she was talking. I think she's a fairly new... And I've got one I want to watch, the Paisley Stitcher. Oh, the Paisley Stitcher's good. Um, Laura and Brenda were talking about it at lunch when I was yeah. listening to him at lunch today. So if any of you guys need a new floss tuber and you haven't already listened to some of these there there and I there's a ton out there so don't just limit yourself because these are just some of the ones that actually come up on my I'm not very technical so when I look up floss tube I just have to kind of watch what's what's there uh -huh. I don't I can't I don't know how I'm on a pillow you guys this is ridiculous. why are you on a pillow <sighs> is your tailbone Maybe, hurt no <laughs> well can we get oh, rid I'm gonna of, do that can we get rid See, of I the got pillow? This. it was puffy not splashed. <laughs> what on earth? What was I supposed well, to do? So, so I you know, was installing you. Know I can lower you. my chair, well, I didn't right? Know Look, that. Watch this. Watch this. See that? Now we're in the same height. <laughs> oh my gosh! You guys, pray for me, would you? Okay. Um, I I want to do a little business. Okay. Let's we, get serious about We have a business. giveaway from Nancy. Did some floss tubes while I was a wall. So um, she actually gave away. Um, Happiness is homemade, the cookbook from Nashville Market 2024, and she and the one that won the person that won the cookbook is Cindy Lynn, Cindy Lynn, C Y N D I E Lynn L Y N N, and we haven't heard from her, so we can't send it to you until we hear from you. So if you're listening, or a friend is listening for you, um, give her a call and tell her we need to get her information. And you can email us at info at always in stitches the number one dot com so you want to talk about your stuff that was the first one that we gave away we oh, gave yeah, away two oh we gave away two we did? so that was the first one that was unclaimed then she did a second episode oh excuse me i didn't know that uh-huh part two of the nashville needleworks patterns oh, what we brought right. back from market and then the second video she gave away a cookbook which i have right here and we're sold out of these. We don't have these. Oh, we we have tried to more? put in. A, we tried to put in a second order, but we missed it um, by a day of when oh, we could nuts. get another order. Um, so these were highly sought after this year. Um, look at that! It's Taco Cat. 
me go back to Taco Cat. Look, Taco Cat. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> so I have the announcement to announce who won that round two. The round two winner is Diana Snyder, nine 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 four. I think it's Diana. It looks like no. Diana. Okay, let me rephrase. Okay. In case you're listening and you're just stitching, you're not watching. It's actually Dina Snyder, nine 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 four. I'm sorry. Thanks, Lenny. <laughs> that was sorry. a good catch. Yeah, well, you know, I don't know about you, but my net, my name is spelled wrong a lot and pronounced wrong. So holler at us. Yeah, holler at us if that's you. Okay, now. I hope we're in focus. Okay, good. I put the focus dot right, right there. I noticed it looks like there's something like I've got a necklace. So on. if you hold something up, you have to hold it up in that oh. little in that little square okay. and let right. it focus. So you're gonna do yours. Let's do your whips. All Are right. Are they whips or finishes? I have a whipper. Oh, whipper snapper. This was supposed to be a finish, but man, I only had to do a couple letters and so on and so well, buttons, and it would have been done. Okay, so this is from the Nashville Needleworks Market. This is the sampler bag by Shepherd's Bush. You know how she does all those patterns. You can do them on sample bags. And I have some top secret information about these bags <clears throat> that I'll tell you about here in a minute. So the sampler bag was done on this nice checkered business. Gingham. Gingham. That's what they call them. Isn't this a check though? Isn't gingham it, when it's it like is, a bunch of small squares? You know, somebody goes looking for a checker bag. This is, oh. Can They're I called call gingham. A, can I call it overcheck? <laughs> no. Call it what it is, Cooper. <laughs> That's a big gingham. Okay, the thing <laughs> about this bag, in case y'all don't know, because when you see them, they look pretty flat, right? Look how flat that Mad is. Mad for plaid. However, the gusset action on this thing is enormous. So if you push this great? out, push it out there, you push this out right here, and then look how wide that bottom mm -hmm. is. I mean, this is a big bag. This can hold all kinds of goodness in there. But anyway, uh, this is what the pattern looks like. Good job, Peter. Uh, don't ask me what the count is, because I don't know what the count oh, of the gosh, bag is. Oh gosh, it's probably 10. It's probably around a 10. Oh, and here's my almost finish. I only got Yay! a few letters and some buttons. Congratulations. Now this is the cutest bag. Um, you can get a button pack for it and it has really beautiful buttons. It has a bee, a chicken, um, a sheep, a leaf, and a flower. There's the bee, there's the flower, there's the leaf. Did you get that too? Oh, and it has a zipper pull. Yeah, I got the zipper pull, which the zipper pull is really nice because it has stuff on it too. We just ordered more of those. Good, because we were out, they went fast. Okay, so there was that. I talked about that. Oh, so how I stitched it, you guys, is I use six strands over two spaces. So it's all six strands of DMC and you go over two spaces, over two. And for the back stitch, thank you Wendy, you rock. Look at all that great back stitch. Um, for the back stitch I just did three strands. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. And it turned out, I like it, I like how it turned and out. Peter, tell them what's coming soon from our, our Mad for Plaid bags. So mad for plaid. So they came out with ones that are half size. So like this size. Um, so we have those on order and those are to be released. I, I can't remember. Like the, the end of the month? End of the month maybe? I can't remember. We just ordered um, some, so we'll, we'll keep you posted. And I, and I measured this design and all the designs on the bags should fit, wow, the, that'd should be fit cute. the small bags. That's cute. I don't know if they're calling them small or they're calling them medium, but the bag is like seven by nine or something, maybe nine by five. I don't know. Or something. We don't know the details. We don't have all the details. We're discombobulated. Yeah. Is that everything I want to you say know, about this? You know, I noticed that there's a lot of people on Foster that are very organized and sweet. Well, that's I don't good think for them. <laughs> I know. that just doesn't fit us. <laughs> maybe they should. Maybe they should tell us but how they do that. I don't, I don't know. know. No, I, I, don't I there's I've been this way my whole life. I'm not changing yeah. now. Okay, now, now what you got now? About. Okay, I have a finish. I'm so excited. No, I'm I so, would like to I'm know. so proud Can of you. Can you tell me why Always and Stitches doesn't have the next cabin yet? I'd like to know. I've been know. patiently been, waiting. Has it been released? I've been seeing it on other people's uh, Facebook pages. Well, they got it. Should I go check while you're talking to them about it? 
<laughs> okay, this is, what is this? <laughs> Long Cabin Christmas. I think for a oh, second. Oh boy. So every month they come out with a new cabin. Now I read their, their, their website. Now the website says they're gonna come out with two a month, which was not true. Um, little hops. So far it's just been one a month. So there are nine spaces. And the first, mm. the first space looks like this. And this one has a squirrel. So I think it's called Log Cabin Squirrel. The month that everybody else has except for us, which Lenina's <laughs> Lenina gonna check on, is Log Cabin Rabbit. I thought we got these auto ship. I don't. I thought we did too. I don't think we got them auto ship. Here, show it. You gonna put them all on here? Is it all going on this piece of fabric? Yes. Oh, how exciting, Peter. Yes, so there's the finish. And this is over two on a 28 count. I used a 28 count so I can see what the heck I'm doing. And You're a youngster. You should be able to see the and 40 count. It's, it's two linen threads, and I use mocha. I like mocha. Vintage country mocha. And, and I should, you use I should the, have some action left over. Now, you use the not stamped side. On vintage country mocha, but if you go and grab regular mocha, it's the same color. Right. Oh, I know. But, yeah. I mean, like, the back is, yeah. is modeled. Yeah, because yeah. I like, for some I, reason, the, I like... Well, I like it's okay. That's I like cool. this piece of linen better than the mocha linen. It's pretty So color. I went with this piece of linen because I was going for the wheat. And look at those flosses. Look at your floss. Is it mostly over dyed? Is it all over dyed? It's all over dyed. Um, and they're so pretty. The nice thing about Always oh, and Stitches look, is the Always and Stitches had a kit that I could get. And so I got the floss pack for it. Because I'm not standing there picking out all these flosses. I got things to do. Beautiful. I got places that to go. That looks like you. Look at it, it. It matches your outfit even. You're such a you're such it a pioneer. Does. No, what you call it? Is it a pioneer? I don't know. Yeah, he, I think you're right. He was born in the wrong century. He and should this, have been born in 1850. This is my Look little. At that. This is my little scissor case. You guys have seen this. Did you make that, Peter? I did. We have the pattern, and we have the topper, but it holds my needles. And it holds my skizzers. Oh, teeny, tiny. Do we have any of those? I, yes, I love these. They got a little yeah, thing. Yeah, they're great. They're and fun they're, for gifts, too. They're super sharp, and they're inexpensive enough I can put one in every bag. And then I, here's my little English paper piecing. It's a 3 8 inch hexy. It, is it is it um, fussy cut on the front? Yeah. Of course it is. All of them are. Yeah. See, but each one is a separate oh, hexagon. They're 3 yes. 8 inch. I made I made one of those at Connor Prairie years ago. They used to have I love like Connor that. Prairie. I do too. Connor, Connor Prairie is the awesome. local living history museum, and it is an amazing place to go. Do you know I made a knife? I took their knife making I class. I haven't seen it. And I made a knife. I knew you were going to a knife class, but I didn't haven't seen it. I made it. Was it a blacksmithing? Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah, we forged the blade and everything. A made the handle. Like, no put the kidding. handle on. Shaped it. Filed it. It's all hand. All done by hand. I have a friend that's a blacksmith. So, and he likes to do that kind of stuff. Okay, what are we doing now? Well, I'm out of stuff. Oh, you're, he's out of stuff. I'll do some finishes. Um, because I was in Florida for some. You need a board? I do, and I have, board. I have wonder clips so I can act like I know what I'm doing. I think it's backwards. <laughs> anyway, since I was in Florida for a couple of weeks, I got a lot of stitching done. I got a lot of floss tubes watched. So I'll start with some of my finishes. I don't think I need the board. Okay. Here, Peter. This is Snow Magical by with my needle and thread. And I thought I brought the pattern, but I don't guess I have. Oh well, I'll find it. It'll be something else. So um I don't have any idea because I don't have my pattern. But anyway, that that's Snow Snow Magical by Brenda Gervais, and um, it's on a finishing board by Chantel Jessica, from 141 Design please. Company. Jessica, you paint it, it and um, then I mounted it on foam core, put some rickrack around it, and um, did. Um, I can't remember if it was Chantel or Nicole Spore that talked about how they finished it, but I ordered some of the wax to to scruff this up with and anyway anyway we have the finishing board that's called freeze frame display this is how 
this is how this doodad came was like in this package and then you put it together you glue it and get your clamps out and glue so that's i just wanted to show you we still have some of these there's different sizes this is the large one we also have the small one and my little snowman i can't remember even what count he's on but that's one of my finishes so it's out on the floor right now that's gorgeous isn't that fun i, I like love that. and can you talk about the rickrack though how you how it had one color but you chose a different color it had white on the pattern it put they put white around it and i i had white but it kind of washed out so i ended up digging in my mom's stuff and put, found some large red rickrack and i thought the little cardinals and things i thought that made it really i love the pop. red absolutely love the red and then on the back because i don't keep a lot i don't i have hot Is that glue a dog stuff. hair no it's hot glue oh. thread you know that stuff Oh, there it is right there. It might be a dog hair. It might be a golden retriever hair. Anyway, I just wrote in Sharpie um, my name and when I finished it because I don't, I don't keep a good track of things. So that's one finish. Oh, I love this one. This so, is my favorite. I got this. It's Cooler Classic Charts Mini Sampler of the Month by Cooler Design Studio. And I did this little teeny tiny guy right here in January. Can you see January? Uh huh. They're bitty. <laughs> and so, and I don't, sorry, I didn't write down what I finished it on or what I what I put it on. But here's my little, little, little teeny tiny finish. Can you read what it says? No. Can you I couldn't tell even what the, tell. No. Can you tell what the aminals are? There's rabbits on there, you guys. <laughs> They're like snow, snowshoe hairs or something because they have black ear tips on their ears and black tips on their toes. Okay, so did you know? No. Snowshoe hairs, do they change color? I don't know. Like, I don't know. are they mostly I don't white think they could. during winter, and then when the winter's no more, then they get rid of the white? Like, I don't think so. But can you imagine them losing all their hair? Okay, I feel like they change color. So I don't know if that's true. If anyone or not. knows, snowshoe hair is what they do. But yeah. anyway, this is my January, and it's going to Florida with me. Okay, what does it say for the people? We got to read it for the people. <laughs> oh no! Ice, snow, ice, Hold snow? On. It says ice, snow, ice, it's so tiny, Sna. you guys. Sna. Was it? It's one over one, isn't it? Oh, God, is it? Maybe it's one over two. No, it's over two. Okay. Are you going to do well, the rest of like, the months? No. No, <laughs> I'm not doing any more. It's just going to be January at my house all year. Okay, well, I need this one in my life. No, you don't. Oh, you don't. It's going in my pocket. Okay, so here's an... Uh, uh, you guys. This is um, JBW's French Christmas tag. And we've had this, this is not a new pattern, but we've had it for a while. But I did, there's a little house right here and it has a Mill Hill, not Mill Hill, J, just another button company, snowman button on it. And we had these cute little wooden house tags from JBW. I actually think. Those are awesome. It's, it's made by the B company. But we had a whole bunch of these and nobody knew what to do with them. And then I went, oh look, this goes on these and I made that. I love that. And Virginia, who is my bonus mom, who's sitting love in it. front of us right now, she finished the trim for me. She does, she makes all the bows and she put the little glittery rickracky stuff around it and she sewed the red thread up through on the rooftop. So, but that's a cute little and these, we have these. I love those. Yeah, and they make great little, they make great little ornaments. They make so, the best ornaments. And they ornaments. have the little um, ribbon on the top already, so. I might have to look into those. I mean, a cute little something. Because one of the, you I bet you one. You make me one for Christmas. I bet you one of the motifs, like from my cabin series oh, would fit. You, you, and I can make matching mm, ornaments. Can you imagine that? Like one of these or, oh. Well, they do a skinny cabin. Skinny oh, cabin. that'd be even better. Okay. I don't remember what month it is. This is Life is Just a Bowl of Cross Stitch August, and it's from Pine Mountain Designs. It looks like there's two designs in there. One's a little puffy pillow, and one's a roll. We have these, and I finished this. I'm doing a bee display, so I've got a whole bunch of bees coming. But there's my little guy, and I did it on Weeks Gingham. And I don't remember the name of the gingham, but it's a Weeks Dye Works gingham. And I don't know, it might have been, I think that's 28 count. Do you think? I think it is. So anyway, that's one of my finishes. 
Virginia puffed my pillow for me. Now this is an interesting, this is an interesting little guy. I got this. Oh, I love Where did that I get frame. this? I have no idea. I got I don't this remember. summer. Oh, I know. Prim Gatherings. I went to a retreat at Prim Gatherings oh, wow. in Wisconsin last year, and I picked up this little wooden easel. He's cute. That's got a little, um, what do you call it, clipboard clip, like one of those clips. Is that a binder it. clip? No, well, not really. You know, it's one of those. Oh, it's like a little mini refrigerator clip. Yeah. So it had that already on there. In 1985, probably, I had a friend send this to me as a Christmas card. It 85? was in one of those. Yeah, it was 1985. It was one of those little cards that you stick the cross stitch in and it was a Christmas card. Well, it was getting kind of, the card was getting kind of cruddy because I put it out at Christmas and I thought, eh, I'm going to throw it away. So a couple years ago, I threw away the card part because it was getting pretty ratty. And I thought, I can put that on that That's, little easel. That is adorable. So I made it a little, I just, I put some fabric on the back and left a Frankenstitch hole yes. in this. And That's cute. That's neat. Got a little something. Okay. He's got some big feet for a little chipmunk. <laughs> I think it's a squirrel. But it could be a chipmunk. I think it's Alvin. Okay. Oh, I love this. So Dawn did a demo the other day, and I it's probably, is it online, the demo for Twister? I'm thinking, hold on, thinking, researching, researching. No, not yet. Okay, well, no. we have the Twister, um, It's this one's called Twister Tray, and it's by Twister, Twister Sisters, and we have the templates, and I made this tray with Bosol, it's a moldable, if you see, it's kind of, dimensional like it, it goes up and it stays that way and I made this out of a charm pack a couple years ago but Dawn had me bring it in the other day for her demo on the twister things and it's fun for for like fourth of July I set That's it on my counter and, cool. and so we've got the patterns back in and and the templates to do all those so I thought I'd show that since it's here anyway let's see I have you guys look at Pinker and Pumpkin ever do you ever look at their love stuff? I love Pinker and Pumpkin. Okay, they this was a free, free Pinker stuff. and Pumpkin uh, Dreaming of Snow, which I'm in Florida in January, so I'm always dreaming of snow because there's none down there. And I and finished. There's none up here. No, there's none up here either. But <laughs> just rain. I finished this into a pillow, and I didn't want another just square pillow, so I actually took some Christmas fabric, added a piece at the bottom, put red on the back. And then Virginia, the bonus mom, she put some wired um, ribbon and I had a snowflake from Hobby Lobby that I painted white and she stuck it on there for me. So that's going to be in Florida too because I'll be dreaming of snow walk down there. So funny story. Oh dear. Lenine's walking in the back office and she's got a rattle can. Probably a like rattle can? Spray paint. Oh, oh, oh yeah, 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 rattle And paint. so she's walking around with a rattle can in each hand. And she goes, I need to spray paint this. And she goes, do you think this would be good here? And it was at Deborah's cutting counter where the <laughs> online order department is in the back room <laughs> offices. She about near fumigated us out. <laughs> Nancy was not appreciative. And I said, I'm so sorry. I didn't, I always <laughs> spray paint stuff. Nancy I don't know. goes, well, I got a migraine. I'm going to have to go home. <laughs> You know, you don't know what you don't know. You I didn't know, realize that some it people does, were. It, it and you don't people. know it's going to smell. Well, I do know it's going to smell. <laughs> oh. Spray paint always smells, but I oh, never thought it? about it. It doesn't bother me, so I don't think about it, and I felt bad. Yeah, I felt bad too. Hands on design. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is Polar Plunge. I put it back in the wrong way, but oh well. Why is there two prices on it? It's one your cloth and one your whale. <laughs> Which is oh. I don't Sometimes know. Sometimes I'll take my cloth sticker and stick <laughs> yeah, it on stick my it pattern. On, yeah. So I remember. This is what whale. Hello there. And I'm sorry there's a barcode in your way, but it's a big old whale. And it's uh, part of Kathy Heberman's collar plunge. It. When you're done, they can see what it looks like. And so it's finished. And these are I finishing that boards whale. that you can get from Kathy's hands-on design and I signed it on the back again and put a little piece of red cording at the top so it's I out front. I love those whales. And the they have the template that makes the rounded part. The template comes oh, cool. with the pattern so you don't have to think yes, bring that up. Get out my compass. Yeah, yeah you don't. And my, okay, tiny, so and my tiny little short pencil. The This one in Florida, they don't have a template. They didn't have a template for this. I had the board in Florida. I knew I had to make it a certain size. 
I needed to cut out a piece of foam core. I didn't have a compass. So what'd you do? Did you get a cookie tin? You know what I did? Sugar sure, cookie tin. Nope. I tried all kinds. I tried paper plates. I tried pie plates. I tried all different sizes. How'd you make it happen? Well, back in the old days, you took a pen, a safe or a stick pen, a, a, a sewing pen, and you'd put it down in the middle, and you'd take a string and tie oh, it onto a pencil. Okay. That's what I'm doing in my <laughs> in my sewing room in Florida okay. because I don't have a compass. And Brett comes in, he goes. What are you doing? I said, I'm trying to draw a circle. Well, can't you get a, whatever you said, cookie tin? Yeah. I said, I've tried every cookie tin round thing <laughs> in the building and I cannot find the right size. I swear that is the exact size of the sugar cookie no, tin. No, it's not. Ones. It, I tried that. Oh. It was terrible, you guys. But I went to Target the next day and bought me a compass. So I'm ready for the next circle. Is the compass going to be big enough though? To yeah. make a big enough circle? Yeah. yeah. I got one that the pencil really goes, <laughs> goes out. Okay, what else have I got? got that, did, oh, this is something. Don't forget the bee. I gotta tell, this is Peter oh, gave this to me after market. I when love I got, that bee. Oh, I've got a, okay, this is a chubby bee by Jeanette Douglas. This is what it looks like, and it's, it's a market release, right? Yeah, it's this year, yes, it's a market release. So, it's not limited. Right, but I mean, it just came out. Yep, yeah, just came out. Because she has lots of chubbies. She does, chubby bunny. Chubby bunny, chubby bird. So anyway, Peter gave it to me as, when he when it came back from market. And, okay, Mr. Smarty Pants. Smarty I finished pants. I finished it. I love it. I didn't know what to put it. The dumb circle thing we're going again. <laughs> okay, so. Okay, that's the size of a... Uh, a, a butter a, dish. Of a 28 ounce uh, tomato can. No, uh, yeah, whatever. So anyway, <laughs> I put it on a piece of foam core. I had, um, I don't remember, it was a hands-on design. I think it was um, wild, finding wildflowers, that thing that's out there that's on that metal. Uh huh. It, it was the right size. Oh, but I didn't sweet. have, a, I couldn't find a round backing. Do flopper. So I stole this from um, JBW's, got these, I think it's JBW. They were from the Bee Company again, and it's for one of her finishes. Nice. And I took it, and it worked perfect. So nice. I put some black pom-poms on it, and then Virginia made me a bow today. Love the black. Yeah. So it was already painted white. I didn't paint it. I didn't do anything else with it. And now it's ready to go. Oh, that looks so back good. And so we have, these, we have these round doodads. Dawn, Dawn wanted to know, she goes, now why, why did you buy that for her? I go, well... When I saw it, I instantly reckon, you know, it reminded me of you. And Dawn goes, well, she already owns it. I go, what do you mean? She goes, well... I bought it the first time is what she's trying to say. No, what, I'm, what Dawn was trying to say was, well, you own the store, so everything in here is yours. Yeah, <laughs> because I bought it the first... I paid for it when yeah, I bought you, it. Yeah, you paid for it I when bought the it store the first bought time. it. <laughs> Used to, when we first opened the store, I would <laughs> go up front and I would pay for my purchases. And finally somebody said, Lenine, you paid for it the first time. <laughs> you don't have to pay for it again. So I just no, I don't just, burst my bubble. I know. I was so okay. excited. I appreciate for you to have it. I appreciated it. And I made it for my I bee, love it. I for just my love bee, that bee. Um, display. Okay, I have one more finish that I could find. This is out of Annie's Quilting Fun with Squares. Um, it's it was um, a charm pack that I got. Oh, let's see. Well, here's what the book looks like. And then inside the book, Peter, I think, is the one that picked the charm pack. Oh, I remember that. I picked that. Yep. I this, had a vision. This is what the quilt looks like. And we have these books. And I took the charm pack to Florida and I started messing with it. Now, I didn't make a quilt out of it yet. Wow. But I did make... I took That's the, cool. We don't have a lot of room for huge, I mean we do, but they're filled with quilts. So yeah. the girls up front would rather have smaller items, but this is a, a charm pack we have, and I, it's Kansas City, Kansas City Trouble, Kansas, Kansas, I don't remember. I don't remember, Pam Buddha. Pam Buddha. Pam Buddha. Pam Buddha. And um, so I went ahead, it's fun, it's a very fun pattern to put together. So. If you, if you like uh, half square triangles, if you're not afraid of them, 
it'll do a whole charm pack and it this is as wide as the quilt would be I just happened to make it into a table runner so I think that's most of the finishes I was busier in a one arm paper hanger okay now what, what should we do should what's we talk on your, about what's on your list well, I was trying to be all organized in, in things because I was watching somebody and they had it written. So these are in order of what I have them in my... Oh, you have them in order in the in the basket? Yeah. On your list? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's cool. I ironed them this morning and I put them in order and I opened all my bags so I wouldn't... No go. zipper? <laughs> no zippy yep. zips? Yep. Okay, so first Man, we... Man, we're stepping up in the world. I know. I've been... Um, what do you call it? Well, I've mostly been you. In inspired. Okay, so this is Teresa Kogut, which I love me some Teresa Kogut. Folksy Thomas. I love Folksy Thomas. This was a Patreon um, 2020. Ooh, I don't remember. 2022. Yeah. Wow. So it was a Folksy. Uh, it was a Folksy Thomas. It was for 2022. I started this about September of last year. And um, she was at the retreat I went to at Farm Girl Dry Goods in Amana, Iowa. And I got to show it to her. But um, it's not quite done. It's getting there. Oh. What? what board. What? Oh, well, you need the board now? Well, we, we were showing finishes. Oh. You got to bring it over here. See, I got to pretend like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay. I got to have them one things. You want me to put one on for you? Yeah, would you? Okay. I think we need the bigger ones. These think, are gonna go. These needle, are gonna go pop it. I think I gotta deduct a point though. You left your needle in the cloth. <laughs> I always leave my. I, I always leave. <laughs> Wait, how do you do this? Is it 4:30 already? No. This clip's not no. very big. Why? I know. Why do I, I got such I a know. small clip? You got the same okay. one I did. Anyway, this this isn't working. Anyway, so okay, so here's Folksy Thomas, and he's just down here in this bottom corner. Is all I've got left to do. I'm excited to get it done. But anyway, it's in a book now. It's in uh, one of Teresa Kogut's new books. So if you like Folksy Thomas and you want to do him, it's... Hey, cute. And it's got some DMC and some overdyed. So Look at his top hat. I just love him. I do too. Can't wait to get him. Um, you know, I had something framed. What did I bring back framed the other day? Something hanging in the department. I know, and I forgot to grab it. I had. It wasn't mine. I don't think it was mine. I don't remember. I can't remember. It looked really good though. <laughs> <laughs> the, the frame was like kind of like a, you know, barn board type. I don't. Know. I don't know. Painted. I tell you, it's a good thing they don't pay us by the hour, huh? <laughs> okay. That. Oh. Oh yeah. And I had. Oh shoot, you guys. I had it written down what it was on. Thirty-two count amber toast. Some of them I don't know, but I thought I'd pretend like I knew on others of them. Okay. Yeah. This is. Uh, I don't know that this board is, I mean, this, I need to practice when I'm not doing floss too. Oh my gosh, between friends, a spring sampling from hands-on design, and I'm doing the front page. There's several uh, patterns in here. Do but. you want me to be the board wrangler? No, because you're making fun of me. I'm not making fun of you, <laughs> but I could be the board wrangler. Do you think? Cause, yeah, because you could present and read it while, and then I while put I'm it on oh, the board. Oh, yeah, so that's a good idea. Cut. Okay, here. Okay, I'll do the board. I, I'm having troubles with this one though, because I this I, is in my way. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear! They can't see you now. Because <laughs> okay. Anyways, I <laughs> they can't see you now. I know. I put the focus on, on you. you. So okay. I should have done it on okay, me. Okay, you guys. Down through here, there's this real pretty salmon. I think they call it salmon. On the outsides of it, there's this yellow. You can't really see it. This is my third. T oh wait a minute. This is my third time doing that border with that yellow, and I still can't see it. First, it called for 3865, which didn't show up at all. Then I did it on a little darker, like an ecru or something. But I still, can't, like, you can't see it. I saw it when you hold it up in front of my nose. I can see that. You, can you see it enough? Yeah. I mean, is it okay? Is I it subtle? I think it's fine. Okay. I think, it's, I think well, they're going for subtle. Yeah, because um, on the pattern itself, it's a little darker piece of fabric. But this is on... 32 count Belfast Platinum. And I like the, I want to finish it like this too, where she's got fabric around the outside. Yeah, that's nice with the dimensional yeah. look. Yep. And I have it in a bag that I made this Christmas, or this Christmas, this winter. Oh, that's a nice bag. Does it have a handle? 
No handle. I like handles. Yeah, this is from, um, what do you call her? Uh, it's Lori. so Emma. Lori Holt. Lori Holt. Yeah. This was a panel, and I think there were like eight bags, and I made all eight of them and gave my bonus mom one. She doesn't do much handwork anymore. She used to do it all the time, but now she... Retired. <laughs> she just said she's retired. <laughs> There's no retiring for no. you, Virginia. Sorry. Okay, the next one is the Mora Blackburn Traditional Sampler, and um, i got to give it to my, my man here. Okay, it looks like this, and this is one that I was given several years ago by a customer, and it had the fabric in it. I know it's a 32 count, but I don't know what 32 count it is. And it's got DMCs, and it's really pretty. It's gorgeous but it's called a traditional sampler. This is and a here's gorgeous, my Wrangler. This is a gorgeous piece of linen. Isn't that It pretty? has a really nice shine so I, to it. I don't really know. I can't tell you what it is. But I, I did measure it, and it's 32 count. That's pretty. So I got some work done on it. That is so pretty. Is it hot in here? It's extremely hot in here. <laughs> and it's humid because of that tsunami. Yeah, we're having a tsunami outside. She's laughing at us. Did Too you bad hear? we couldn't have Cappy turn on the fan for us. Yeah, no kidding. Or Deborah. Or Thanks, Virginia. Cappy. You're the best. <laughs> Here's a new start that I've worked on. It's not very big. Oh, I love this. I love this. <sighs> okay, this is um, by Thread Milk Design, and it's called Statehood Splendor Series, and that the 21st state was Indiana, and we were founded in 19, 19, 1816. <laughs> so that's my little, I just used a piece of scrap. I don't know what it is. I know it's. It looks like it's the it's natural dirt. linen. Is it natural? Yeah, this is natural linen. I don't ever throw anything away. She's being a wise guy. That's, see what a, she's doing? that's a 32 count. But <laughs> oh, is she going to. Yeah, we're gonna blow away. No, we're not gonna blow away, but I'll have that whole long hair blown in the wind thing going on. <laughs> I've, I've got, got this done, so I'm getting real close. Oh, I thought it yeah. was done. Oh, here, here. Show you the pat. And that's the variegated floss. Yep. You're actually getting variegation. Yep. I never get it to variegate. It is classic color works apple fritter. So, I like it. It's very nice. Thank you, Wrangler. I love that. Okay, next. These Next. are all whips. We'll blow it the air up so the hair runs away from the face. <laughs> How come only her hair gets to flow in the wind? Well, take your hat off. Take your buddy. hat off. No, it's pointed at her. I had to. I, I have all these. Um, I'm not paying any attention to Peter and Cappy. Just saying. <laughs> I have all these. That's um, normal. Um, project bags at home. Uh huh. And I was having a real issue with this particular That's one. That's fancy. Yazzy. Because they make some knitting So do bags. we carry that in the store? We, I don't think so. I don't think, I mean, we might have. Okay, this is another Teresa Colgett. And it's Santa's Delivery. You can't see it very well because of the black background. It's on pop, popsicle stands. And it is on black perforated paper. It's all DMC. Well, it's mostly DMC. So here's Santa. But my Santa was getting mushed. See how he's kind of crinkled? Yeah, Peter will show you. That happens. Well, I had it in a regular project bag, but that perforated paper is just a little bit tender. So I decided to get a box out. And I can just, that way my... Oh, that's a good idea. You know, it just sits in there flat, and my my floss, bundles of floss doesn't bother. I like your little floss now, bundle. this you can't see very well. But this is the kit from Chantel at 141 that... Um, Teresa is using to put all of her Santas on and this is what the back looks like and it's got all kinds of stuff that you put together and glue and paint however you want to. So just That's a big it. kit. It's yeah. got a lot of goodies in it. Yeah. So I, I've got one at home. I need to start probably making it. Uh, painting because it takes a while. You paint yeah. and then you wait then you wait and then you paint and then you wait. Some assembly required? Yes. There's lots of assembly. <laughs> oh, shoot. Here. Battery's not included. It takes two sheets of black perforated paper to do this particular pattern. You can get all three designs on two sheets. 
black and perforated we black paper. Now. We do have a little bit. We don't have much, oh. and it's back ordered from everywhere. Oh my gosh! So if you, but she suggested because it's on back order that you spray paint it. Well, get out your rattle cans. That's right. Get get ready to go. <laughs> I thought that'd be, you know, I don't know how that'd work, though, with it being hole, with holes in the paper, if it would get gummed up. I don't know. Oh, I'm excited about this one. I don't think so. This is Coming to America mm. by, with thy needle and thread, Brenda Gervais. Oh, you got people on here. I have, that's how big, I mean, that's, this was released this, in 2020. This one's huge. And I had, I got the kit, I ordered the kit, um, Got my little pilgrim needle It came in a keeper. beautiful box. Yeah, yeah. I put it away. I, it was getting kind of tattered, so I put it away so it wouldn't get destroyed. And this is on 36 count something, I'm not sure. Mocha. Mocha, you think? It looks, looks like, like it might have a thing here. Looks like it's a... Edinburgh's... Look. Vintage country. And it doesn't have vintage. It has C. Country. Mocha. Okay. Cause see the see the modeling action? It's so fun. So I'm... Let's see. Look at that little Where's pilgrim. Mary? Is it Mary or Martin? I thought Mary had a lamb. Mary Beth. Hopkins. Okay, so I'm back. I'm halfway. I'm Hopkins. down to I'm down Is to that the Beth guy you went to school with, Hopkins? <laughs> well actually <laughs> Yeah, well actually, um, I'm related to that Hopkins. And I don't know if it's I'm sure it is, but um, I have two ancestors that came over on on the Mayflower. I like the little fish. Yep. And the waves. So that's and the little chicken on the pig. That's on a. That's on what is that on? Q snap frame maybe. I put it on a Q snap frame. I think. Uh oh. I just lost something. Okay. Next. Next. This is a Pine Mountain Design Hilltop Cross Stitch Club. It looks like this. I was in the club a couple of years ago, and I've done, I think this might be my fourth one I'm doing, and it is on 14 count Ada, and... Oh, that's pretty. It's a beehive. That's pretty. And it says May. So, I'm getting, and going from 40 count to, to Ada. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a vacation. Oh my gosh, you can just, it, it, it's amazing. It is amazing how much different it is. Okay, there's that one. Don't confuse me. You're starting to confuse me. Okay. I like that. Next. Did that go in here? Yes. I have heartstring sampler. Does this go on the floor? Yeah. Ooh, that's pretty. This I is love a it. kit we got at the Farm Girl Dry Goods Gathering in November in Atlanta, Iowa. It looks like this. What does this one look like? Well, Ooh, it's a box you had several, t I d you, there were several charts in here to use as the box top, and I picked the one that Peter's going to show you, which I don't have a, I don't have a picture of. That's I just neat. had the chart, but I did bring the um, box today. Oh, you got a box? Did yeah. you put the fabric inside? They taught us how while we were there. Oh, I yeah. tell you what. Yep. You learn so much when you yeah. go to those things. So here's the wooden box that we got with the kit and inside is fabric that they actually gave you the cardboard to put they had you cut it out and that's the coolest box isn't that fun that's so that, awesome that design will go on top of this box isn't that cute i love it i thought to bring that today so that was that was amazing i was so organized today it won't happen tomorrow but i'm organized today i'm impressed yeah okay what's next oh yeah another bee Oh, oh, oh. It goes like that. Wendy just Wendy did just finished this. Did she? Uh-huh. Wendy of Whimsicle Stitches. Okay, this is fairy wood, wool in the wood with, um, this is, um, it, it's on Eclipses Colors Linen. I think it's Green Dragon. Green Dragon, yeah. And it's real, it's a like an opalescent almost. Oh, that's a pretty cloth. And it's cloth. called A-B as in B-E-E-C. And this is what it'll look like. That's that's a fun. Isn't that cloth. fun? Where'd you get this cloth? It came in the kit. It came. Oh, you had to get yeah, the kit. Had to get a kit. The kit. I don't remember. I don't know if I got it here. Oh, that's beautiful. I love it, and it's getting close. That's stunning. Yeah. So I got that. I go home after work and start stitching because that's my like. 
wine down? Yeah, wine. It, instead of drinking a glass of wine, I just... Instead of drinking scotch, you just stitch. Yeah, yeah Brett drinks the <laughs> scotch and I stitch. This is a free pattern. The, oh that guy goes in the corner down there. This guy nope. go? This guy? Nope. This way? Yep. Okay. This is a free pattern from Susan Aki. You can get it on her website. And this is what it looks like. It's little Quaker ABC and it's so cute. But it has a bunny in it. Little it has bun a couple bun. of bunnies. So I'm deciding it. Uh, somebody on Floss Tube was showing it and I thought, and she said too, she said, this is a spring stitch. And I said, absolutely. Do you know what so I, I want started? For Easter? What? I want a cornucopia of bunnies. Like different chocolate bunnies or, no, or real bunnies? No, a cornucopia of real bunnies. Wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> No, it wouldn't. Have you ever had a bunny? Yes. I a had a bunny. A little black and white Dutch rabbit. He's we had so bunnies. Cute. And they got eight. Like, not on purpose. But that's my little Quaker ABC. Somebody vandalized my bunny cage when I was a kid. Yeah, somebody did mine too and they ate them. Well, mine just, somebody tipped it over. Yeah, it was called a raccoon or a fox or a coyote or a... You think? Yeah. I always thought it was a kid in the neighborhood that tipped it over. Well, I don't know. Ours was ours was some kind of predator. Got it. But we lived out in the country and you know, it wasn't in a secure place. So that's all my whips. So you can put your board away. Okay. You're doing really good. Okay, now, I have three that I just kitted up that I'm going to start this week. One of them I don't have anything kitted up. Okay. Well, I'm jealous. Okay, so this is from uh, Under the Garden Moon. I like her a lot. Uh, she has been a wool person for years and years and years. And she has this pattern, but in the pattern, and I probably don't have it. In the pattern, she shows oh, um, this is that mask. different weight, different coloring, different uh, different color options. Like she has different ones that you can try. So she said, pick out your fabric first, like your back. It's okay. a stitcher's mat. Okay. So you take to a, sti a stitching retreat. So don't. This is the pack, the chart. So. Huh? so I picked this fabric, which I can't tell you who it's by. I know who that's by. Who? I think that one was Three Sisters oh, really? a long time ago. It, it might have been, but like I love this. I got four, the whole line. Four or six years ago. I have a fat quarter of one of the bird prints. Yep. So I love this, whatever it is. So I picked this. Three Sisters. And it called for Ada. So I got a piece of... Oh, here, look. I got... So this will be in front of my mat. I mean, part of my mat. And then I'll put stitch it on here. Oh, that Ada's going to look good. Because she calls for Ada on it. And I had Grandma Ginger surge it yesterday for oh, me. Oh, nice. So then she says, pick your own frog. So then what would you do? So then I said, hmm. I don't know if you guys can see this. Okay. I'll but so. I'll put it over. Okay, thanks. That's my choices of my floss. Those are so pretty. I'm sorry that you can't see it very well, but. I picked just DMC, but look how pretty it is together. That's gorgeous. You got the white and the silver and the berry. Yeah. And the pink. So, I'm going to start that this week. That should be easy because it's on That's 14 easy. count. I mean, it'll take no time to get that border done. Yeah. A little bird. Little bird. You got the bird you can pull in. He's yep. cute. She's fun. I like her. That's she's fun. She's a neat lady. So, I got that. What? I can't think of her first name. I've been at Schoolhouse Susan. with her. No. no. I'll know it as soon as you say it. Her husband's name is Carrie. I don't know. I don't know. It's a terrible... It's not, okay. it's not on there. Another hands-on design because I'm into bees and I thought it was a butterfly. <laughs> I don't have the... I, I always make a copy of my pattern so I don't tear them up. So here's Botanical Bee by Hands-On Design. And I had everybody looking for a butterfly. So And I decided to put it on purple because I had a piece of purple at home. I don't know what it is. Do you know what it is? Stop it. So I had to change up a this, couple. This is a 28 count, but I can't tell you what color it is. I changed up a couple of colors, but I I did a floss toss. You know, I did one of those like that. That's not all of them, but I did that, and I said, <laughs> yeah, this will work. <laughs> so I'm going to do it on the purple. Oh, I See, that's it. kind of pretty to get on. Oh, oh, oh. What? I know what that is, because I'm using this for my um, maybe it's Halloween trick-or-treat disc. From hands-on okay. designs. What is it? <laughs> I'll have to get back to you on that one. 
So anyway, I'm going to start that this week because that shouldn't take long. That's a little, I've got bigger, I've got several bigger projects that I work on, like the Coming to America, and I even consider the folksy Tom as a You know a what I need to bust out? I need to bust out my, my big one. Yes. Get back to stitching on it. He's a, he's a, uh, cabin. he's a terminal stitcher. Like he will stitch for three months, then he knits for three months, then he sews maybe or does well, some leather, make something, do some knives, make some knives. So I'm going to start this too. This is one of my pout clubs. You better pout. This is better not pout. It's a, a club from Shabby Fabrics, and they send you all the the fabric and things, but um, you have to sew it together. I remember. <laughs> Tell the story. What? Do you remember the story? No. Okay, you had this out, and, my, and then I thought it was ours, so I went and stuck it up on the front cutting counter to be put away. They couldn't figure out where it went, because they're like, well, where does this go? Yeah, it's mine. <laughs> people are just, they don't, they, I'm referred to as Taz, but in this book that we have, Better Not Pout by Art to Heart, which Nancy Alverson is amazing. These little these little stockings, there's I don't know, gosh, there's a bazillion of them. Let me see. Oh, I love those stockings. I made one for Kathy. Aren't you nice? How's Kathy? I'm, good. I haven't Kathy seen good. her on Facebook. Kathy actually. good. Her foot fell asleep, and so she decided she would walk on it, and then so she ended up fracturing her ankle. So oh. she's got one of them robo boots that she has to wear for six weeks. Here's all the stockings that you make out of this book. Good instructions. She's always got great instructions. So I've ironed on my oh, applique. look at that. I look ironed that. it all on. So that's my next guide. I've done one. I'm going to get ready to do this one. I got my floss out. So I got my floss ready to go. So that's my, oh, that's my other. That's cute. Look at all those. How many of them is there? Twelve maybe? Four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yep. So hopefully I can do one a month. <laughs> Uh huh. Whatever. Okay. Now, I I think that's all the finishes. That's all my whips. That's all my. I do have one I want to show you guys that I'm trying to decide. Ooh. I want to do this one too. This is, is a new that? twelve oh, monthly. That's the new book. Yeah, twelve, 12 monthly minis by um, uh, Primrose Cottage. Love that book. Aren't these cute? We've sold a lot of that book. Since I need they to do came one. back from market. I need to do this. I need to do one of them. Do I start with like the fall and plan on getting it done, or do I start with January, or do I? What do I do? You know, it's kind of like. Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. This is what I think you should do. I think you should start with that one. So that's probably July. The patriotic. So we can start. You love patriotic I stuff. And I could get that done fast. This yeah. I'll just, let me show you. Do we have big pictures? And then here? you like Halloween. Mm -hmm. I do. So you could do Halloween after 4th of July, and then you like, there was one other one I think you'd like. This patriotic one. Yeah. I think I'll start with that one. That'd be fun. Well, that'd be fun to do. Those would go fast. Yeah, aren't those, look at that. He's I looking at the December. chart. I want to do December. So, um, anyway. So what else have we got, Peter? Anything? Are we forgetting anything? Yeah. What? I got a big old tub down here. Oh gosh, we got new stuff, you guys. Do you guys like new stuff? I like new stuff. What are you guys here for? Are you here for the whips, the finishes, the new stuff, the stories? Tell us, say it all. <laughs> <laughs> are you say team Ladine or team Peter? <laughs> uh, 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 oh. Sorry. You were thinking about that yeah, one. Yeah, I was thinking so. about that one. Okay, we got a finishing board from Chantel. Is this right? A, it's that's Chantel, a big right? bobbin. I got big bobbins and I cannot, cannot lie. lie. Cross Stitching Forever Housework Whenever by New York Dreamer. This is a this is quality. This is that's qu she does not skim. No. This this is not just uh that's balsa solid. wood. No. So this is the pattern that goes on that. Can you, that is so cute. Can you imagine hanging that in your craft room, you guys? Look at that. That's awesome. So we just got the, we didn't just get the patterns in, we did just get the spools in. So that's, you just have to get out your spray paint, Peter. Get out your rattle can. Yep, get out your rattle can. Okay. 30 seconds left of the battery. Oh, 30 seconds? Okay. Yep. 
So, what What's did this? the pirate say? Hobbit, Hobbit House. House. Cottage Garden. Um, oh, this is that house that fabulous series. Houses. I didn't know what it was. I didn't know what a Hobbit House was. Is that one of those that you put a little... What lives in a Hobbit House? A Hobbit? Hobbits. What's a Hobbit look like? I don't know. I've never seen one. I think they're tiny. Just crossed it, y'all. That's a good man. This is a good issue. I loved it. Oh, look. It's got the owls on the back that we we have. They're down here on the bottom of the tote. Laurel Birch. Is that what we're talking about? No, the owls. Oh, These not the owls. dogs and cats. Those are Debbie Mum. This is a good issue. I got to look through this okay. one. I haven't okay. seen it. Okay, then I'll go ahead and do some of these. Okay, this is from hmm, Sue Hollis. Nope, nope. Oh. Sue Hillis. It's Hollis Hands Creates. It's not Sue. Okay, County Cross Stitch Collection. Map of Indiana, because we live in Indiana. And um, I, I like doing these kind of things. And they've got on the back a whole United States. We don't have that one. I think that's very cool, though. I would do that in a heartbeat. I've been to all 50 states, so that would be a hoot. Look at that. Oh, that's awesome. I love that. Yeah, that's fun. I okay, next that. one. Look at this bag. Oh, Look at okay, this bag. Here we go. It's called Planting Season in this magazine. And after you stitch it, you make a tote bag out of it and that, line it with that fabric. Isn't that cute? That's and it's awesome. Big, I think it's 14 count. I don't yes. think it's an expensive piece. Like no. it's just regular. It's just regular yeah. old cloth. Heartstring samplery. Sunday Stitches, a collection of favorite hymns to stitch and sing. That would be me. I would be singing this, singing along. Lots of good charts in here. You want me to sing for you? You know, every time I say yes, you still don't <laughs> sing. I know, because I'm afraid to. Okay, everybody on Floss Tubes doing a Hawk Run Hollow something. And I love them. Now, oh, I we have it? Well, we have one. Okay, which one did we, we get? We have houses. We got houses of Hawkeye and Hollow. Now, I'm not sure. I'm not a house person. I don't like stitching houses. So I'm not sure that this... I want to do one. But I'm not sure this is the one I want to do. And somebody was doing, I think, the Halloween one. They put it on purple fabric. Ooh. Holy moly moly. That was beautiful. I love that. Look at all the animals. Here, you want to look at this? We have to give him something to do while we're filming so that he doesn't That's get... That's awesome. This is Country Cottage Needlework Snow Globe. It's the Co Country Cottage Ornaments Pastel Collection, and this is the next one in that. This is Snow Globe. Those would be cute little ornaments to do for somebody. Okay, so did you read what it said? It goes, this work is mine. A, Bailey in the year 1831. Then the next house says, when I am dead and in my grave, and it's got a house. And then you drop down in here and it says, and all my bones are rotten. Then you come over here, it says, remember me. Mm -hmm. When this you see, least I should be forgotten. And then it says, remember me as you pass by, as you are now, so once was I. As I am now, so must you be. Prepare for death and follow me. <laughs> there you go. Houses on Hawk Hollow Run. <laughs> I, just, I love it. I I'm kind it, of a... They should have called it cemeteries. Uh, yeah, I kind of am a cemetery person. That's fun. So. I know, I like it. Yeah, are you a director? Okay, here. Here. <laughs> What'd you give me? Oh, we have this? I love this. Stitch okay, with you the housewife. You stop it and look at that one. Okay, I movies. like this one. This is okay. Curious Rabbit by Madame Chantilly. Oh, supposed to, oh, was I supposed to do I was going to do these while you look oh, at that. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I, I, love I cut Madame in front of Chantilly. me. Madame Chantilly. Look at that bunny with mud on his feet. That's a, that's that's a cute, a cute bun, bun bun. Look at he's got That's a, a cute bun bun. Yeah. Okay, my sorry, I cut in front of I you. I saw my short eared bunny the other day. You have a short eared bunny? Yeah, that lives outside. Short your bunny. And Here? then there's a bunny nest. No, at home. At home? Yeah, there's a bunny building a nest. Oh, that's fine. And then yesterday when I sat outside on the porch, um, I saw grass hanging from a branch in a tree and I go, that is the, that's just weird. Why is there blades of dried grass hanging on a branch? And then I was like, oh, that's a nest that there's a robin building. So I watched a robin build a nest yesterday. Have you ever put out your old floss? No. That's a good idea. You think my they bird use, would like the floss? They, they like to use those kind of things. Is there any particular color or length I should do? No, I don't do? think so. I okay. just put out my scraps in the spring, and they, they kind of dig up with them. Well, okay, you're, it's your turn. I'm going to do that. This is blessed beyond measure. 
we fortunately get all the uh, Stitching with the Housewives new patterns automatically. Are they doing a thing this this year? They, in, like in, in, I don't know. I haven't heard. A retreat? You would know more than that. Though. Monthly weigh in June. Do we hey, have the scales? If one of you, no, we don't. If one of you guys know if it, my question is, are Stitching with the Housewives having a retreat this year in Indianapolis? Let me know. Actually, isn't it Greenwood? Uh huh. So if somebody doesn't know, Indian, you know where Greenwood is, maybe. This is Daisy's. Very nice. Now I'm a fan of this one because it uses wool and. Linen. Oh, that's nice. I like that. Gingerbread row. Did Nancy buy that one? I don't know. That it's that has Na Nancy. It does have Nancy because she loves winter. That has Nancy's name all over it. By Robin Sample. That's very pretty. Okay, go. Okay, I got Fabulous House Series number four. Is, Wait, didn't we didn't just we do just a house? Do, didn't we? That's what they I'm looking come for. out with these Wait so fast. How do people the have Hobbit the chance? What to happened to the Hobbit house? How do people have the chance to stitch I these? I don't know, but it wasn't it the Hobbit house? Yeah, I thought it was the Hobbit house. This is just called Cottage. <clears throat> and there's we have a Hobbit couple house. customers that are doing these, and they so absolutely. What love number is these. that one? Four. This one's four. What number is that one? Five. Five. I do not know what a Hobbit looks like. Well, I don't know what. A, if you've seen See, a Hobbit, the tell five. us in the comments. Yes. Yeah. I think it's. Which in the wardrobe one? Is it that one? What? Something? Anyway, there's pigs on this one, so I don't think those are hobbits. Oh my gosh. This next one. Punch Needle and Primitive Stitches magazine. Oh my gosh, you guys. It's full. I love it. This oh, is a deal beautiful. and a half. I'm going to turn around and show you this scissor keeper thing down here. This, this um, pocket. With scissors in it. Oh, oh my sorry. gosh, they're so cute. Yes. I, have you looked at it? When did we get it? I don't know. It was before I got home. Okay, now we've got one more from the heart. Well, one more. Rick, I don't know too. Oh, look, we have another pastel collection. Let me do the pastel collection. That's another Country Cottage Ornaments pastel collection, and it is Christmas Church. It's very cute, very sweet little. I gotta do it where Peter tells me to. And then we have From the Heart Needle Art by Wendy, and it's Little Dutch Red Flower Sampler, which is a cute little pattern. And then we have, you gotta, that's you guys. A, that's a beautiful this issue. Is a, that's chock full of goodies. It smells good, it looks good, the pages are nice, the, the cover's, cover's nice. I love the smell of new magazine. Let me hit that. <laughs> Here. Okay, so we have mm, three new Mill Hill kits. Oh, look. They're on fabric. Oh, there's the owls. I didn't know the they were on fabric. Yeah. Oh, they are on fabric. Yeah. Look at that green. Look at that. Look at that teal. You guys, these Aqua. are. I didn't. I didn't know. But here's the owls from Mill Hill, and it, they're called Artful see, Owls, can and they're. See the fabric. They're yes. They're by Debbie Mum. Look at that olivey looking fabric that came with it. But the whole kit and the bead. I'm sure there's beads. Oh yeah, there's beads. Peter. So I listened to a. Summer Owls. Or was it a book? Oh, Debbie Mum's books. Man, her books. Does she have books? I didn't know she She's had got books. books. She, oh, she had fabric. That pretty teal y looking. Um, she has a couple videos on YouTube from a long, long, long time ago. No kidding. She's very, very fun to watch. That's that fabric. She's been right around there. a while. Yeah, she has. And her books are very well written. Her These are books. the winter owls. What owls were the first ones? Scary owls? Autumn. Autumn owls. Wait a minute. We have autumn, winter, summer. and summer. We're spring. We're spring owls. Look at these winter owls. I'm sorry. I was hogging them. Do they see summer owls? And it's got a piece of like a vintage country mocha almost. And they got beads and everything in there. I want to do one of these. Should we have an owl along? A hoot along. <laughs> hoot nanny. <laughs> I have a barred owl at my house. I love your barred owl. I I'm so jealous. That day you showed me those pictures of your owl. Coming Man. out of the coming out of the chimney. Yes. I should put that on you should put that on YouTube somewhere. Yeah, we should. Email me the photo and I'll show the fine I can't people. Email at home. it. It's on my phone. Well, I'm gonna need you to have Cappy show you how to do that. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. Well, we'll fi figure out where our spring is. Is it on your home phone or your cell phone? <laughs> okay, I was making fun of you that time. Cappy's Cappy, Cappy's back there giggling. Okay, you guys, I think we're done now. We've only been here three hours, but um, he'll he'll edit it down so it's not quite so bad. <sighs> or not. <laughs> or not. I'm glad no. to be back. Um, I think I'll be here. I'm in two glad weeks. you're back. I know you are. Are we gonna do this again? Yeah, two weeks. This is fun. Two weeks. I better get some stitching done. I think two weeks. What's two weeks from now? The twenty fourth. Uh, the eleventh. So add. Yeah, two I'll be here. Weeks. Yeah, something. I don't like leave that. till the thirtieth. Math is hard. So glad to glad to spend some time with you. I hope you have a great time stitching. Stitch what you want. Do what you want. No do what rules. you like. Yeah, no rules. And we're glad to be together again. This is fun. Peter Joe. We should do this more often. Okay. Have a have a great week. Bye. Bye. Okay. Brat. Cappy? I don't get paid enough.